All right, guys, we're here now. We hunted, did we hunt? We hunted three days. We hunted three days and we had, we were at full draw on a spike. We, unfortunately, I hit, as you guys saw, but it was not a vital hit. It was high in front of the shoulder, above the shoulder blade, below the spine, it was just meat. It didn't hit anything, we tracked for a mile. Uh, Zane got a crack at a four by four yesterday. We had another spike yesterday. We almost shot at a, we almost shot a cow. We've had a ton of action in three days, but ran out of food because we only went in for a two day hunt and there's bulls everywhere. So now we're back at the truck. We're loading up, filling up our backs. We're back out, got a nice shower. Um, had some heat last night, had a really good meal and just recouped. And now we have seven days worth of gear to head back in. We have, Jack, you breadcrumbed last night. How far do we have to get back in? Like 16 miles. So we have a seven mile hike to our base camp. But then yesterday, we hiked, I think, 2,000 foot in elevation change and another like three miles. So we ran into a couple people on horses, thought we were a bit crazy where we were at. So we're heading back in. It's day four. We're hoping to get in for the afternoon. It was the coldest morning, so we're kind of pissed we weren't in there, but we had no food. We literally had no food between three of us. So heading back in, six mile trek, be about four hours. Uh, we're thinking four hours or yeah, so. Right. It took us two and a half last night with no gear, and now we're fully weighted down. So. We'll see. Heading in. Day four. You're serious, but you like to party. We have what do we got going on here? We got I got bulls beetle going over here. We got bulls beetle going over here. We got the thermals that are screwed. We've got the wind that is screwed. We just went almost 1800 2000 foot in elevation. He's another 700. We just had a lot. This is day five actually of the hunt. This is a fifth day hunting. We had to pack out, and we've not. Had a single, probably what, a four hour stretch where we weren't set up on a bull. That's right. And we're just getting, you can't control. We're up in these rolly hills. We get to the top, the thermal is the same, the wind's different. We get to the bottom, it's been really hard. We got busted last night. We called 75 yards. Yeah. 75 yards we walked forward and I called one more time and a bull busted out of his bed straight at us. I mean, they're just not talking. We've had, what, maybe eight bulls, nine bulls come in, and only one bugle. Yep. One bugled out of eight There's or nine, no so. Cows either, so. No cows. It's a little tough, even when they're revving. It's just, a lot, a lot of stuff isn't making sense right now. No. So. They're not talking. Still gonna have to get after it. We're still yeah. up in these hills and. Press them a little bit. We have one on this side. The wind and thermal is actually in our favor. If he talks, this one is going absolutely nuts. But he's so protected, there's no way we can get to him right now. We have to wait till the thermal switch midday, so we're trekking. We got Jack catching the wind. He's over here. Where is he at? There he is. He's alive. Where is he? Where the heck's he at? I don't see him. He's hiding. He doesn't want to keep walking. He's hiding behind some trees. There he is. <laughs> this has been tough walking. All right, day five, we gotta stick a bull. We can get really aggressive, get right in on him. Give him no chance. Nope, let's go.
No, that's not an elk in front of us. It's what may have been a state record blue grouse. We are talking turkey sized. Unfortunately, this thing was using its legs to keep away from us and we weren't able to catch up with it. Jesus, he's far. We are midday on the 21st. You saw us climbing a couple hills, just did a setup here. Unfortunately, the stuff we heard down here this morning is not talking, but we saw a really big one. But it's really far away. So we're gonna it's go. It's not really far. I mean, oxygen tanks <laughs> in a straight line. It's not far, but it's really freaking steep. So we have to go from 9,500 feet down a 90% grade to 9,000 feet and back up a 90% grade to 95. It's not quite that bad, but it's pretty bad. It is. So we're gonna go do something stupid. Despite a climb into high and rocky terrain that looked like it was more home for mountain goat than an elk, we were unable to get on top of the bull that was in front of us. We came up to a cliff edge and had to make a decision. If we went after the bulls, we might not make it back to camp that evening, so we decided to abandon those bulls in hopes for another day and make our way back toward camp. Uh, end of Friday, mm, the 21st, I think. I'm just sitting here taking a few pictures, some panoramics and stuff. And we had a very slow day. Um, we hiked all over all over God's creation today. I don't know, we'll have to look at the iPhone. It tells us how many steps we did and things like that. Um, and we would hear a couple bugles way off in the distance, but as soon as we would hike over to them, they would shut up. So I don't know if there's like just snow hot cows around, um, if we pounded the ground a little too much. Um, I'm not sure, but today was pretty quiet. We thought we had a few good options when we hiked up this morning, but as soon as we'd get over to wherever they were, we'd call a couple times and we wouldn't get an answer. And the whole time we've been up here, we were just thinking to ourselves, we've never heard a bugle in the afternoon, which is kind of weird, afternoon or evening, as they come out to feed. There's one spot that we can see that they come out to feed fairly regularly, but it's like six miles from camp. And honestly, if we... I think that's an elk on way down. There might be one here. As we spent the fading light glassing from a rocky outcropping not all that far from camp, we had a bull elk come out right in front of us, about 300 yards away and closing quickly. We tried to make a setup and have the bull come down the creek towards us, but unfortunately he wrapped around to our right and into a sage flat where it looked like he started to feed. He started to bark at us when he saw something he didn't like. We would bark back, he'd take two steps our way, and this continued for about five to ten minutes until it reached pitch black, and we just had to back out and head back to camp. And unfortunately, a long pack out. So, we had two misses on bulls, should have been dead, 100%. We messed up, we scouted right, we hiked right, we camped right. We're 6.8 miles or 6.9 miles from the truck. Got in here, ran out of food on day three, went back out, got all the food we had to hunt the rest of the trip. Six, seven more days, more people got into the area, more horses, we saw dirt bike trails. Yesterday, multiple bulls bugling, get in near them, they shut up, moved to a different ridge. Get in near them, shut up, moved to a different ridge. Today, hotter, hottest day we've had. First day, no bugles. And we said hell with it, pulled camp. Unfortunately, we're fully loaded and we barely could fit because we had all the extra food. And now we're heading back to the truck, 6.8 miles. And we're gonna start picking day drainages. Hope they haven't been overpressured and hot them as they come. Unfortunately, I missed that big bull you saw and we had another nice four point come in. We didn't get a crack. We hit a tree. So, sucks for us. Sucks for us. Get it? 
On the way out towards the truck, our elk hunt again became a grouse hunt. Unfortunately, I only caught a couple feathers with the shot that you just saw, but fortunately, another mile down the road and Preston was into the grouse again. Stay on the trail. Okay, go ahead. Maybe stay down there. That's it. They're gonna loop around. So it's Saturday the 22nd. Uh, we are packing out of plan A because it's been hot. The bugles have shut off. We saw wolf, don't know if that matters, full moon. Um, and they're just not there. We saw them about like five miles from camp and we thought about packing over there, setting up camp, but it puts us like 14 and a half, 15 miles from the car. So we're on plan A and we are doing grouse drives. Dinner, dinner. We're doing grouse drives on the way out. I, I nicked one in the head and now Preston just got one. So a little uh, camp meat. This is stuff that makes elk hunting fun is that you can come out here and there's usually a lot of grouse. Hey, oh, huh? Yeah. Gotta get my arrow. So we're thinking at this point, we've got half a day left today. We've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Zane has to leave. Wednesday, it had to go right up here. It went right through here and I hit him. Um, so we might be doing day hunts. Um, we have an area that looks a little more rugged, but much closer to the road. So we'll see, it's tough country, but we gotta keep at it. We still got a long way to go. The remainder of the day found us relocating Preston's camper and getting into an Sounds area cool. that we thought would hold elk. We decided to scout out a little bit, come up with a plan for the morning, and hit it hard in these new areas closer to camp. 